I will now discuss the, uh, the construction of the analog system. First, we will look at some concepts that underlie the construction of such a system. We will go through a list of, list of things. First, we will look at the components that make up the system. The second thing we'll look at is Ohm's law, which is, which is, uh, which tells us how how uh, voltage and and current are related in elements in circuit elements, and we will do the actual circuit design. So the components we are looking at are a power source which in our case can be either a battery or an external source of some kind. A second component is a switch The one we, we're going to look at is a, called a projected switch, which has a, an easy access button on it. The third thing we're going to look at is an LED, a light emitting diode. A red LED is the one we're going to be using. The fourth component is a resistor. A, the resistors we're going to use are, it's a linear resistor. And the last component, it's really part of the power source, is a proper ground. So let's, so let's look at our first, the Ohm's law and what is the, what Ohm's law says. So Ohm's law is simply states that the current through an inductor, the current, oh, sorry, <laughs> conductor, <laughs> current I through a conductor is directly proportional to the voltage across it. So a conductor could be something as simple as a resistance. A resistance is a conductor that provides a certain, certain conductivity for the path. And so we're saying that the current that flows through it is proportional to the voltage across it. And the proportionality, so in other words, I is proportional to V, or more specifically, I is given by V over R, where R is the resistance of the, of the conductor, in this case, a resistor. So if we look at a I V relationship, it's going to be a straight line. The slope of this line is going to be 1 over r. So this is if it's a linear resistor. Now, we, we can design simple circuits where, where we use a resistor of different values. Different values will essentially give us different VI curves. So if we have a difference resistor R1, R1 will give us a, a VI curve like that. Uh, a R2 will give us a VI curve like that. And maybe this is a different resistance. So let's now um, design a simple circuit. A simple circuit. So the circuit we're looking at has a 3.3 volt source, 
a resistance and an LED. So an LED is described by this symbol where we have a, a triangle with a with a line across it on, the, on one end. So this is the positive side and the negative side are the anode and the cathode. Now uh, this is a symbol for an LED whereas the actual LED itself will look something along something like this which we saw and the longer electrode on on this is the positive one which is an anode and the shorter one is a cathode which is a negative value so a red LED when lit will look something like that so what I what we will do in this simple circuit then is we will simply connect this to a ground so a ground which is zero volts so a simple circuit like this will cause a current to flow because there is a potential difference between this point and this point so there's going to be current flowing so the current i that flows here will be determined by the resistance here and the LEDs operating uh, point. So, so what, how, what what would it do do to the circuit so that we can uh, we can change its behavior? That is, I want the circuit the LED to light. So now, right now, the LED is lit because there is current flowing through it. I want this LED to light only if there is a switch that enables it. So I can insert the switch in some some path here that will break the path or make the path and the idea is to insert a switch along this line so here's a modification here is a mod modification so the modification simply is i'm going to take the source i'm going to use a resistor but i'm going to put a switch in its path so that the switch will make or break a path break the path so in a situation like this the, the resistor and the LED have a disconnect in between and there is the I the current that will flow is zero because there is there's no potential difference so because this this point is also at zero volts so there's no current here this point is also at three volts there's no current here there's a break so i is equal to zero so as we see if i were to close this switch the act of closing the switch is going to make the i be some value greater than zero we will calculate what that is and as a result the light is gonna glow so let's do another modification of the same circuit one where the switch is not controlling it in a positive way but we want the switch to control it in a negative way so so we'll um, design a new modification of the circuit where so this is my mod 2 the mod 2 it's going to use the same setup where we have a switch that and an LED but the idea here is that when the switch is off the LED should be on or I can say the switch is open the LED is on and switch is closed the LED is off so we know how to make a an LED turn on without with the switch being off so for example if I don't have a switch at all so this is my zero volts we can 
no matter where we put the LED, uh, the switch, if the switch were non-existent, this is our situation which says switch is off and the LED is on because there is gonna be current flowing here. So, so now the, there will be current flowing here and as a result there is, there is, a, uh, there is I which is some value greater than zero, therefore there is the switch, the LED is on. Now, where is the switch? Well, I obviously cannot put the switch in any part of here uh, which is gonna break the path. So what I want is to put, a, put the switch in such a way that when the switch is closed, which is my second scenario, I want the LED to be on. So in other words, I wanna provide an alternate path for this current so that the switch is gonna make that alternate path for the current. So that's my circuit then which will be uh, the same idea, which is the 3.3 volts. There's a resistor and I have the LED, except I'm gonna put the switch parallel to this. And this is my zero volts. And now when the switch is, the switch is open, the circuit behaves exactly like this. So the, uh, when, uh, as, and when the switch is closed, when the switch is closed, what we will see is the current that flows here is gonna split between these two paths. And because this path is gonna be a zero resistance path, all of the current is gonna flow here. This value of the current here is zero amps, so the LED is off. So let's, now build the circuit for this.